We're joined now by trainer Mitchell Kerr, who's had a great night at Addington Raceway for the Macmillan Equine Feeds Race Night. Mitch, you picked up your 100th training win, I believe, with Storm. Yeah, yeah that was a great achievement today. So, you know, we've, uh, I didn't really know what I was on, but, um, you know, we've been a while waiting now, and you know, it's good to get the monkey off the back anyway. Definitely, and obviously yourself and Matt Anderson, who's a good friend of yours, are having a bit of success this season. Um, I believe you've got 23 wins now. Um, your best so far is 25 as a trainer, so no doubt you'll be looking to have your best season yet, and seems to be progressing that way. How's the rest of the team going? Yeah, it's been a bit of an up and down season, Stacey. You know, we had a really good start, and then um, you know through December onwards, the team got really crook, so trying times, and then I had them all ready to go, and then obviously coronavirus hit, so... Uh, yeah, that was devastating because uh, they're all ready to go. So we had to go back to Plan B again and get them out of the paddock, and then it's just uh, you yeah, know had to go through all the motions again. Yeah, unfortunate. And I suppose there was a few people in the same boat, but obviously the team's back and going now. So hopefully you can get a few more wins going forward in the season. Um, is there one at home maybe people should keep an eye out for in the coming weeks? Yeah, I've got a good wee team about to step out, so um, you know Storm, she should uh, go on with it, and uh, Taste of Honey's a really nice wee horse too, and, and Willie Wallace, I'm keen to get him back into the track as well, so you know, I've got a couple of nice ones here to, to bring out shortly, so hopefully things uh, keep ticking over. Definitely, well it sounds like you do have some good ones coming along, so we look forward to seeing them out on the track. Thanks for your time, Mitch. Thanks, Stacey, cheers.